If I come and the Imam is in Ruku' position, should I recite the Fatiha, jeopardizing the possibility that the Imam may say, Sami'Allahu liman hamida, and I miss Ruku' with him? Or should I skip it while knowing that the Prophet said والسلام, that there is no Salat without reciting the Fatiha? I'm in a dilemma. The answer is very easy. One of the Prophet's companions والسلام, entered the masjid and by, when he entered the door, he heard the Prophet والسلام, say Allahu Akbar and was in the Ruku' position. So the man immediately from the, door, from the door of the masjid said Allahu Akbar and performed Ruku' and walked in the position in Ruku' until he was in the row with the worshippers. So the Prophet said, Allah and Muhammad and continued the prayer. After concluding the prayer, the Prophet ﷺ turned around and said, Who made Ruku' at the gate, at the doors of the masjid? And we know that the Prophet sees, was given the ability to see those behind him while facing the Qibla alayhi salatu wasalam. So a man said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I did this. And by Allah, I only intended good. I didn't know what to do. I saw you in Ruku'. I could not stand up and walk while you were in Ruku'. I had to do something uh, uh, exactly like you. So the Prophet smiled and said, Zadakallahu hirsan. May Allah increase you in being careful and steadfast. Do not go back to doing that again. Meaning that it is not befitting of a person to walk while in the record position. You look weird. Maybe you're going to fall on your face. So don't do this again. Now, the Prophet did not say, alayhi salatu wasalam, repeat an extra rak'ah because you missed Fatiha. Which is the vast majority of scholars stating that one is exempted from reciting the Fatiha if he finds the Imam in the position of Rukur and he joins the congregation. You don't have to pray the Fatiha. I didn't hear it, Sheikh. It's a silent rak'ah, Sheikh. It's a silent prayer, Sheikh. Even though, say Allahu Akbar and prostrate and, 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 and go to Rukur. Sheikh, one, one Allahu Akbar or two Allahu Akbar? It's, it's okay both. So if you do Allahu Akbar for Takbirat al-Ihram and then Allahu Akbar for Ruku' is valid. And if you say Allahu Akbar for Takbirat al-Ihram and Ruku' as well and go for Ruku' without repeating it, it's valid. Both is okay. No problem. So this is an evidence. A second scenario, which is the Imam was standing up reading the last part of the surah. By the time I said, Allahu Akbar, he went to Rukur. So I prayed with him standing up, but he immediately went to Rukur. If I pray Fatiha, I will not catch up with him. In this case, you're exempted. Go ahead. There's no problem, inshallah. So I hope this answers your question.